The iconic Tiburon landmark Old St Hilary's was constructed in 1888 as a mission church on a three-quarter acre parcel donated by Dr and Mrs Benjamin Lyford. Mrs Lyford, formerly Hilarita Reed, was heiress to the Tiburon portion of the 8,000 acre El Rancho Corta de Madera del Presidio. Her mother was Yelaria Sanchez Reed. Not surprisingly, the mission was named for the 4th century French bishop saint Hilaire. The building is of significant architectural importance because it is one of the few remaining carpenter Gothic churches to survive in its original setting. Constructed of redwood and Douglas fir, some of the interior carpentry is reminiscent of railroad passenger cars of the period, which lends credence to the story that it was built by the Tiburon railroad workers. With the construction of a new St Hilary's Catholic Church on the Tiburon Peninsula in 1954, there was no further need for the mission. The last Mass was offered and the old church was deconsecrated. The building was in a sad state by the late 1950s. It was still being used for various local activities, but there was little supervision. After vandals had broken all but one of the windows, the Archdiocese of San Francisco authorised its sale for a sum equal to the annual deficit of the new St Hilary's Parish which was approximately $10,000. Beverly Bastian of Belvedere and Susanna Dakin of Tiburon gathered their concerned neighbours and formed the Belvedere Tiburon Landmark Society in 1959 to raise the funds and take title to the building and grounds. Mrs Dakin and her husband donated the entire amount. Old St Hilary's was dedicated as a historical monument on October 30th, 1960. Original furnishings include the white altar rail and two stands for statues on either side of the sanctuary, as well as two long pews and two short side pews. The original Stations of the Cross were restored and hung in the nave. Most of the permanent furnishings are donations in honour of local residents. They include the concert piano and custom-made docent desk, chair and table, as well as oak pews that are similar to the originals. A group of local volunteers created the splendid needlepoint pew cushions which feature local wildflowers. The adjacent downslope property, acquired in the early 1960s, is home to many rare wildflowers. This area has been named the John Thomas Howell Botanical Garden in honour of the eminent Bay Area botanist who alerted the Landmark Society to the importance of the site, calling it one of the most interesting and beautiful wildflower gardens in California. Not surprisingly, Old St Hilary's Landmark is a popular setting for weddings and the rich acoustics of the building make it a perfect venue for concert performances. Thanks to our dedicated volunteer docents, this gem from another age is enjoyed by our community and visitors from around the world.